Hey folks, uh, this lesson is proving figures are similar using uh, transformations. Okay, so transformations involve several things. We'll talk about those. And this is an Integrated Math 2 lesson, Module 16.2. So when you go to this groovy website, make sure you click Integrated Math 2. All right, so here's our question: How can we use? Uh, how can we? Uh, how can similarity transformations be used to show two figures are similar? Okay, I'm going to try and get through this without making too many mistakes. Uh, this is my third attempt. I made too many on the other two. Then I taught the lesson and found a couple of more mistakes, and that doesn't matter because it's going to be perfect this time. So, so proving uh, figures are similar, and we write similar with that little squiggly right there using transformations. Okay, so. So let's access some prior knowledge from Integrated Math 1, you guys. When we're, we reflect over the x-axis, this x-y becomes um, x-negative-y. When we go over the y-axis, this x-y becomes negative x-positive-y, okay? When we go 180 degrees, this x-y becomes negative x-negative-y. And then we, when we rotate 90 degrees clockwise, x, y becomes y, negative x. And then how do I remember that? I, I think of this. I always draw a right angle right here, you guys. Let's do that in red. So from here, you got to go to the origin right here. I'm going to do that. So if we go to the origin right there and then go to the other point right there, yeah. it makes a right angle. So can you see that right angle? And it went clockwise. This went in this way, clockwise. This length right, ha right here has to be the same as that length right there, okay? So here, let me back that up for a second. If I did, you know, say I did this point and it went only right, right there, even though that's a right angle, it's not the same length. This length has to be the same as that length. So this 2, 1 here becomes 1, comma negative 2 right there, okay? And when we go over the, the counterclockwise, sorry, so when we go 90 degrees counterclockwise, so go to the origin, so right there, okay, and then it's going to make a right angle at the origin, so that point's going to become that point, okay? This length right here will be this length right here, and can you see this 90 degree angle, and it went to the this direction, that's counterclockwise, so this xy becomes a negative y, positive x right there, okay? All right, so that's how I remember, because I, I don't remember these guys, I forget those all the time, so I just, I draw this little right angle and I just I, I plug in 2 1 so 2 1 when I do a right angle it's got to be the same it's going to get me to negative 1 comma 2 that's a 90 degrees counterclockwise okay this one right here is a 90 degrees clockwise whoops I think I got to get my segment right there so so this right here when I go to the origin and then do a 90 degrees clockwise that would be that way has to be the same length. This length has to be the same as that length. So this 2, 1 is going to take me to 1, negative 2 to make it work clockwise. Okay, so then it, uh, that way I can figure out these rules when I forget them. Okay, so similarity transformations is a transformation in which an image has the same shape as the pre-image. So it doesn't have to be the same size, just has to be the same shape. So these include reflections. Do you remember doing that in IM1? Translations. A translation is like if I let me see if I can draw a, a sloppy, you know, let's pretend like that's a triangle right there, okay? So let's, let's just pretend for a second, okay? So pretend, 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 okay? There's a triangle, so here is a, a translation over down. It's the same triangle, okay? And then here's a dilation right here. When I make it get bigger or smaller, that's a dilation. Here's a rotation like this. That would be a rotation right there, 90 degrees clockwise, okay? So sometimes you can rotate it, and then you can reflect it. I, I don't know how to reflect on here. And then you can dilate it bigger or even smaller, okay? So these are all similarity transformations, okay? So, so rotations uh, work, and then dilations also work, okay? All right, so two figures are similar if and only if. So instead of writing if and only if, I abbreviate that as IFF. Old school geometry teachers know that uh, symboling right there. So uh, two figures are similar if and only if. One figure can be mapped by one of these similarity transformations above, okay? Reflections is like we reflect over the x-axis or the y-axis. Translations is where it slides over and down or over and up, okay? Those, and then rotations is when we rotate it 90 or 180 
or counterclockwise 90 or counterclockwise 180 and dilations makes them bigger or smaller okay all right so we're going to use the figure on on part a on page 837 to describe the transformation what does this confirm okay now this one's kind of hard to see you kind of get the hang of it the more you do this right here this one's 180 degrees if i can turn this guy 180 degrees they just map right on top of each other Okay, so what happened was this figure came from over there. So if I took it back 180 degrees, there it is. See how it's the same figure? So watch, there it is, there it is, same figure, okay? All right, so that's a, that is called a, a rotated 180 degrees about the origin. So these figures, what does it confirm? That these figures are similar, okay? So this is part B on the same page, okay? Whoops, I went a little bit too fast right there. Here's this figure. How is this figure getting mapped to this figure? It's getting reflected. I wish I could put my hand right here and, and turn it backwards and make it go over here. See how it's getting? It's a mirror image right there. The mirror is your y-axis, so it's getting reflected over this y-axis right there. Can you see that? I wish I could pick this up and reflect it over, but I, I don't know how to do that on this program. I'll try and figure it out for the next one here. Okay, so here we are, part C, so um, uh, to describe how we can map. Uh, so we're going to map triangle RST to the corresponding vertices of DEF. So RST is the big guy on the outside, and DEF is the little guy on the inside. All right, so it's helpful on these guys. This one's a dilation. Okay, it's helpful to list the ordered pairs. And then check out these, these numbers here, 0, 2, 0, 4, 8 times 2. Check out these ones, negative 2, negative 1, negative 4, negative 2, 8 times 2. Okay, these are times 2. So these are dilations times 2 on this one, okay? So when we're going uh, from the big guy, though, to the small guy, the dilation is actually times a half. Okay, so just be careful uh, what they want us to go from what to what. We're going from RST, which is the big guy, to DEF, which is the small guy, okay? So, so we're dilating it by a scale factor of one half right there, okay? So we can represent dilations using these coordinate notations. And this is how what we, this is the lesson of this, is how to write it like this. So that, that last one was dilated by one half on that guy, okay? K is the scale factor of the dilation. Hi. That's all right. I'm just making a video right here, so I'm going to be talking for the next five minutes, okay? All right. So if K is less than one, like that last one, it was a half, so it gets reduced, and when it's greater than one, it gets enlarged, all right? So determine uh, whether these figures are similar using the similarity transformations and explain. Okay, so these ones look pretty similar. It's helpful to list uh, the ordered pairs right there. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is at 0, 1. This is at 0, 3. This is at 1, negative 1. This is at 3, negative 3. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 3, negative 3 right there. Okay, so can you see those are a multiple of 3? So here we're going from RST, the little guy, to XYZ, the big guy, okay? So that one is times 3, okay? So this is how we represent that. XY gets uh, mapped to 3X comma 3Y. So these two figures are similar because dilations is one of the similarity transformations. Oh, boy. All right, let's see. Here's another one right here. Okay, so... Here, I can see they're all right angle. Those are rectangles right there. So we just got to make sure that they have the same scale factor, the same lengths from one side to another. So let's pick P, Q, and W, X, and then we'll pick... Um, uh, so, so this side would correspond to this side, and then this side would correspond to this side. I want to see, is the ratios the same? And since 2 to 4 is not equivalent to 4 to 7, these figures are not similar. Okay, so there is no scale factor on that. All right, how about these guys? Okay, now check this out. This um, uh, from P to M, I'm assuming that that's going to be from L to J. This one goes up 2 to the left 3. This one goes up 2 to the left 1. They're not even the same angle, so these ones aren't similar either. So there is no scale factor on those. All right, how about these guys here? So these ones look like they're similar. Uh, let's check uh, the up and over part. We can check the lengths, no problem. One, two, three for the small parallelogram, and then so, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So it looks like the scale factor is two to one. Let's see. Let's check. This goes up two over one. 
This one goes up 4 over 2. Those are the same ratio, so those are definitely similar with the scale factor of 2. That's when we go from the small guy to the big guy. If we go from the big guy to the small guy, then the scale factor would be 1 half. Okay? So, no, I didn't write that. I should have wrote that right there. So the x, y is right here. So this x, comma y would go to, let me get an arrow right here. Sorry about this. This would go to, sorry. Uh, uh, so it would go to, uh, what, uh, 2x, comma 2y. Okay, so uh, well, there's a scale factor of 2. I'm going to take that back, pretend like I didn't do that right there. All right, because I was going to make a mistake. Another one. All right, find a uh, sequence of similarity transformations that maps the first to the second. These are kind of tricky, you guys. And then we're going to write coordinate uh, notation for transformations right here. All right, so these ones definitely look like they're similar. Let's see. Up, one, two, two three, four, over three. This goes up two over a half, or one and a half. That's the same ratio. So they d they definitely look uh, like they're similar. Let's check the lengths, you guys. So so um, uh, the scale factor from um, uh, A B C D to D E or E F H G. Did I say it's A B D C? Sorry. A, B, D, C, okay, is uh, 4 to 2, or you can go 2 to 4, the scale factor is 1 half, or 2 to 1, whichever way you're going on that, you guys. So we can map um, uh, the big guy to the small guy by doing first this dilation. So we have to do the dilation of taking halves of all these ordered pairs right there, okay? So let's slide that up. All right, so what we got to do is take halves of all of these, a half of that, a half of that, a half of that, a half of that. So that's going to give us A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime, okay? So let's just multiply all the XYs times a half right there. Okay, now let's graph those guys. There they are graphed right there. You have to do this first before we can do the translation. The translation is sliding, if I can slide this over and down. So now what we got to do is just pick a point and a corresponding point and see how much it goes over and down. Okay, so I'm going to pick um, uh, C prime, okay? Now we can't do C because we have to dilate it first. Always dilate before you slide it over and down. Okay, so here's the points dilated, so now I can slide it. This slides over 1, 2, so it slides over 2, down 3, so an over, when you go over, that's an X movement, we're, we're going positive 2, so plus 2, and we're going down, a down is a Y movement, so that would be down 3, so, so let's go ahead and write that um, uh, orientation right there, okay, so, so here it is, here's our uh, first, we do the dilation, XY becomes 1 half X, 1 half Y, and then we follow it by the translation to the right 2, down 3, so then we go XY, we take this xy and we go xy, x plus 2, y minus 3. Okay, you got to do the dilation first. Let's try one more, one more of those, okay? So here we have triangle JKL, and we're going to map that to PQR. Okay, this one's kind of tricky, you guys. What we're first going to do, I'll talk us through it here first. We're going to reflect this over the y-axis. Okay, and then when we reflect it over the y-axis, then we're going to dilate it before we move it, or, and then we're going to rotate it. So before we do any translations, which is a slide, or any kind of rotations, you have to dilate the points first. Okay, so it's always, you can dilate first and then reflect, or you can reflect and then dilate. But before we do any rotating or translations, we have to dilate first. All right, let's reflect. There it is uh, over the y-axis right there. Okay, now, here's the dilation. Okay, I can see that this, this line is going to correspond with this line right here. So this line is 1, 2, 3. This line is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the scale factor is 3. Okay, so we're going to do a dilation of 3. So we're going to multiply all of these numbers times 3. So this um, uh, 0, 1 becomes 0, 3. Okay, and this uh, negative 1, 2 becomes times 3 times 3, which is negative 3, 6. 
Similarly, negative 9, comma, 3. So J prime, K prime, L prime becomes J double prime is that, K double prime, and there's L double prime. Okay, let's graph those guys, okay? So here they are graphed right there. All right, now, this is going to be a 90 degrees uh, rotation clockwise, and this is what I mean by that. Check this out. We'll do this in gold right here. Let's pick... Uh, Let's pick um, uh, this point right here. K is going to correspond to L. So check this 90 degree angle out right there. Okay, so 90 to the origin over here. Can you see the right angle right there? Can you see that right angle right there? It's going clockwise. Okay, so 90 degrees clockwise rotation is this orientation right here. Okay, so we're going to take this uh, 0, 3, and it's going to become 3, negative 0, which is 3, 0. This negative 3, 6 is going to become 6, negative, negative 3 is positive 3. So anyways, let's go ahead and do that 90 degrees rotation. That's going to give us PQR. So there it is, rotated all right there. That's pretty fancy, huh? All right, so here, let's describe this. So we, we first reflect it. So the reflection over the y-axis is xy becomes negative xy. Then the dilation is going to be times 3. So then we take these xy's and then multiply them all by 3. Then we do the 90 degrees uh, clockwise rotation. So we do this rotation right there. All right. Lastly, you guys, all circles are similar no matter what kind of transformation you do, whether it's a reflection, a rotation, a dilation, and uh, uh, what's the other one? A translation. Okay. All right. If you are in our class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.